Okay, welcome back. This is video two of the Civil Light Three uh, video tutorial series brought to you by Imagination Everywhere <coughs> and Ria Institute. I am Amen Mojira. And what we're going to go over in this video is actually uh, getting into the meat of the uh, tools that you will use to create Silverlight applications. And the two main tools are Visual Studio and Microsoft Expression Blend. Uh, Microsoft Expression Blend and this time Expression Blend 3 with Sketchflow um, is mainly uh, an a, a development environment that allows uh, designers and developers to collaborate together and Visual Studio is definitely for developers um, even though possibly 2010 will be a little bit more familiar with uh, will be a little bit more uh, will make d designers a little bit more comfortable in going into d Visual Studio but it's definitely uh, a haven for developers and before I go on I will say that for me myself I'm a designer and a, and a developer and when I say a designer I'm not a graphics artist but I love to design GUIs graphical user interfaces so uh, those of you who are really trying to get involved in uh, enhancing your skills with Silverlight uh, there's basically two tracks you can you can take you can be a designer developer or three tracks you can be a designer developer you can be a graphic artist and slash designer or you can be a developer or you can just be a developer slash you know GUI uh, graphic graphical universe I mean uh, user interface designer so I mean there's two extremes you can be a strictly developer or you can be a strictly uh, graphics artists or you can do both you know you can do you know graphics artists usually do the the extreme graphics the the stuff that's just like gorgeous you know I mean so but anyways I really wanted to get into the difference between expression blend and visual studio because it, it, it is important uh, first if we start with expression blend and we look at the type of projects that you can uh, that you can create Silverlight projects that you can pr create in Expression Blend. As you can see, you can create a website, a Silverlight 3 application and website, or a Silverlight 3 application, a Silverlight 3 control library, and a Silverlight 3 Sketchflow application. Um, I haven't um, tried a Sketchflow application yet, so that's not going to be uh, a, a video tutorial till later on. But all these other threes, I've already, I've, I've done many times. Um, if we go over to Visual Studio, there's a little bit of a difference in the type of Silverlight projects that are available in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, if we view, there's a, of course a Silverlight application, there's a Silverlight navigation application, the Silverlight class library, the dot .ria, dot .net .ria, rich internet application services class library, in a Silverlight business application. Now, the Silverlight application is the same thing as the Silverlight three application um, in Expression Blend. So that's 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 the same thing. Um, and all of these host websites except for the class libraries, um, and of course, is the Silverlight business application, which we'll be able to get in a little bit later on. But the Silverlight navigation application is the one I want to open up first. So I'm gonna go ahead and and uh, just say Silverlight application three, open it up, and we're gonna we're gonna keep it as just a application project for now. You could either you can actually do a ASP.NET website hosted it within the ASP.NET uh, web page, but we're not gonna do that now. So let's open this up. And 
and as you can see here is the application and you definitely want to make sure that you know you have uh, the Silverlight plugin uh, uh, tools uh, for Visual Studio plugin installed on your computer or else you won't see all these fabulous tools and this actually also has a Silverlight toolkit installed on it also so um, I have all of that installed actually I have it installed twice I really should uh, uh reset the toolbox um, cuz I I mean I, I accidentally put it in twice but anyways getting back to the uh, the actual application if we get back to the actual application um, in Visual Studio there's no editor there's no what you see what you get uh, XAML editor so um, y all you're gonna see is code now uh, those of you who might have had experience uh, using Visual Studio 2008 um, and uh, Silverlight 2 um, you you know that uh, it did have uh, just a basic read uh, XAML editor but Visual Studio 2008 with Silverlight 3 does not have a XAML ed editor so uh, and you know it basically allows us to uh, allows us to to, to to do things faster because that XAML that that read editor was really just taking up too much time but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run this this application so let's go ahead and run this application Yes, we want to go ahead and uh, enable debugging. And as you can see, the ASP.NET development server is what we're running this on. And we're opening it up in Firefox. That's my default uh, browser. You can use Internet Explorer if you, de if you desire. and you know sometimes I have to run this twice in order for it to display and that's just the bugs in Silverlight 3 right now here it comes right now All right, we had a little bit of we had a couple of problems, um, but I'm going to show you what it is. When you open up your application, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go and build the solution. Click here to build, and as you can see down here in the, in the left hand corner, it succeeded. And I I can put up the watch windows to show you that. There's actually going to be a part two of this series because I want to show you expression blend, and then you're going to have to either set your ASP.NET or your HTML page or your starter page. I set my uh, ASP.NET I mean my HTML page as a starter page and if we go ahead and hit run now it should work <laughs> voila and you have the home page and you have the about page and you have the home page and as you can see it takes up the whole document and you have deep linking so uh, this is the first video uh, there will be a part two in uh, the difference between expression blend and Silverlight applications and we'll start from this point right here okay thank you and we'll, I'll see you in the next video